Yes, people, what is happening? Shadow Hunter is back once again, and I'm coming at you today with a brand new Apex Legends video. In this video, guys, we're going to talk everything about the new weapon 3030 repeater that is coming in season 8 Apex Legends Mayhem. So, this is the video that we're going to tell you everything that you need to know about this amazing new weapon in Apex Legends. If you are new here and if you want to support this channel, make sure to like and subscribe so you get all the latest Apex Legends videos straight to your account. Last time a weapon was added in Apex Legends, it was Walled in Season 6, and there wasn't any weapon added in Season 7, but now in Season 8, we got the new weapon called 3030 repeater now let's have a look how it works first and foremost let's take a look at 3030 repeater by all of its main details it's an assault rifle guys and it takes the heavy ammo type it has single fire only the magazine type it uses the heavy magazine extended mag also the gold magazine which is going to be releasing in season 8 the optic type you can choose like the heavy ammo guns it uses the same optic type as other heavy ammo guns close range and the mid-range optics stock type is standard here as well guys as for now the 3030 repeater does not take a hop up or have a barrel mode slot the 3030 repeater is a heavy weapon guys that starts out with six ammo but scale at a higher rate than the wingman with no magazine it have a six ammo then the level one got to eight level two get 10 and level three and four gets 12 ammo shots now out of the weapon that is currently in the game guys the 3030 repeater can be described at the heavy weapon equivalent to the g7 scout but also the heavy weapon equivalent of the longbow dmr it is in a way the midpoint of those two weapons in terms of both fire rate and damage the 3030 repeater is also the only assault rifle that only has a single fire mode all other ARs have at least one other fire mode in addition to single fire, though the G7 Scout requires a hop up for the second mode. Another unique element of the 3030 repeater is that each shot has a charge meter. Unlike the Sentinel Sniper Rifle, the charge is automatically a part of the weapon and does not require any outside items or sources. The base damage versus the way of charge show steel damage is as follows. Base damage for a leg with charge, it costs 43, 11 more damage. On the body, it costs damage of 42 base and 57, 15 more with charged. On the headshots, you got 74 base damage and 100, that is 26 charged damage. Now that is one solid gun guys. Sounds a lot like the season 1 wingman to me. Now how do you charge this weapon? In order to charge a shot, hold down the trigger and let go when the charge meter is full. The meter is either appear on the gun itself or equipped optic. Due to the charging element, this gun is going to be the best at the higher end of the mid range and it is generally going to be at its best with a 3 multiplier optic or a 4 multiplier optic optic now that said because you have the option to rapid fire at a lower damage if you feather the trigger the gun is still somewhat viable in close range combat too so let's talk about its reloading and pairing with other guns like the mastiff shotgun the 30 30 repeater reloads one bullet at a time this means running out of ammo in a fight without another viable weapon in hand is pretty much a death sentence that is if you don't have a good amount of range between you and your opponent that said the brand new gold extended heavy magazine is perfect to pair with the 3030 repeater due to its special ability when equipped over time a holstered weapon would reload on its own let's say the time it takes to do such means you should have fast reloading weapon paired with the 3030 repeater that's why in the season 8 trailer fuse had the repeater with wingman it is wise to pair it with the mastiff or any other sniper rifle as well it's also best to pair it with another assault rifle or an lmg or even an smg overall guys the 3030 repeater may not be for everyone like Wolf, but there are definitely ways to utilize its unique playstyle and power when you break down every element of the weapon and think about it strategically. Get a gold magazine is 100% recommended on 3030 repeater. If possible, to combat slow, single bullet reload time, similar playstyle to the G7 Scout, though in some ways it's closer to longbow and wingman as well i really like this weapon i think i'm gonna give it a shot and see how it is when it's season 8 launches in few days i really really looking forward to this weapon i hope it is as good as the wingman was in season one i do believe it will be closer to hemlock single fire as well but we just have to wait and see there you have it guys everything that you need to know with the new weapon 3030 repeater i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe